My name's Mark Stubbs, I'm 33 years old and I'm the head chef at Wheeler's Oyster Bar in uh, Whitstable. Um, I've been here about 10 years now, previously I was working in London and then was training at Thanet College for three, three years. Cooking um, is something you've got to have from inside, I mean when I started I fell into the industry. Um, I was, you know, not very good at school and when I left school my mum said to me, you know, you, you've got to go and find a job or you go to college. And before I knew it, my mum had enrolled me into a college course and I hated it for the first six months. Absolutely hate it. I couldn't understand the point of peeling a potato or spending time blanching a tomato. Then I got pulled into the office, got a dressing down and then for some reason I, I turned around and I found food. I don't know why or I don't know how, I think it's something from inside. Um, you know, when you go home after doing a long day, you eat it, you drink it and you sleep and you're waking up in the middle of the night and something comes into your head. and. To me that is part of the industry, you can't give that to someone. You can do either a two year chef's course or you can go in and do a uh, catering course which includes chefs and the waitering side, um, learning about the restaurant as well. So learning both sides is a great attribute to, to have kind of thing. For me I, I, I still like the apprenticeship, I think going out into the industry and then maybe doing two days at college or for me. Uh, is invaluable because you're le on the job training. I worked with a guy called Michael Dahl who was uh, a 19 year old Danish kid and he was over doing a four year apprenticeship. Now by the time he had left he would virtually worked every single section in the hotel. So he was used to the hours, pulling the shifts and so yeah I think, it's, I think apprenticeships are a great thing. It's a fantastic job if you enjoy the job itself and you enjoy food uh, the job itself is very rewarding. You know, at the end of the night, I come to looking at over overlooking my little oyster parlour, and I see you know 20 people sitting there, happy, laughing, joking. That's my job done. They've had fantastic food, they've had a great atmosphere, and they've enjoyed themselves. Um, but as for the job itself, it's very hard. Pressure, long hours, fatigue, um, and you know, it's a continual. Uh, a continual thing, your day's never finished, you know, even when you're going home you're thinking about the jobs the next morning, have I got to get a stock on, have I got to get sources made, it's, it's a continual, as I say, you virtually do need to breathe it, live it and sleep it, because um, once it gets hold of you it takes, it takes charge kind of thing, but it's a fantastic job, it, you know, and you get to meet so many people, everyone says, oh, you know, it's unsociable hours, everyone else is out partying, but on the same token, you're meeting people in your restaurant, you're talking to them, and you're creating the atmosphere, so really it's down to you, if you enjoy it, then there's no, there's no, re there's no second best, really, it's, it's the restaurant. If you do enjoy it, stick with it, and really push yourselves, because the boundaries, there is no boundaries, you can just keep going and keep going and evolving. Everyone says, um, you know, oh, you're a chef, you know, a head chef now, you must know everything. That's wrong. Every single day, you need to carry on learning. You need to keep evolving because food is evolving. Um, for me, what is a great restaurant? A great restaurant is you can go back and have the same meal three or four times in that season and it'd be exactly the same. I want to be able to produce the best food I can with the ingredients that I can. And when things don't go right, it hurts. And I think if it didn't hurt, then again, it's time to leave the industry.